What is WorldCat? WorldCat is McCain Library's catalog. It is located under the Find Books tab on McCain Library's website. WorldCat is the best tool to use when trying to determine if McCain Library owns a physical book, sound recording, or a film that is needed, and where these items are located inside the library. WorldCat also lists ebooks owned by McCain Library and provides a direct link to these resources. WorldCat is where course reserves are listed. This means users may look up courses by the instructor's name or course number to see which course materials required for the class may be checked out from the library. Users may also use WorldCat to look up equipment available to be checked out at the library and place a hold on these items. Finally, WorldCat is the tool to discover books available at libraries locally and across the nation that may be requested through interlibrary loan for free. This means the item will be sent to McCain Library for the individual requesting the item to check it out. WorldCat is not the best tool to use to access articles or journals. While some articles are available in WorldCat, WorldCat provides significantly less article coverage than other databases provided by McCain Library. You can definitely use it to find articles while searching for books, but it's just not the best starting point if you need articles. For articles and journals, we recommend starting with the Discover Galileo search box on the McCain Library's website. Notice that the Discover and Find Books tabs are right next to each other, so it's easy to get these two confused. Looking up journals, magazines, and newspapers in WorldCat can also be tricky, so we recommend using the journal's A to Z tool listed on the row of buttons underneath the Discover search box to locate a specific journal, magazine, or newspaper available through McCain Library. We hope this helped you learn about WorldCat. If you have more questions, simply email us, use our chat widget, or schedule a research appointment with a librarian. Have a great day.